Five years ago, Marley Scott decided to take a leap of faith. I put music out in Canada, but I, I had bigger dreams than that, and I wanted to uh, see what I could do in Nashville. It wasn't an easy move because Marley had to leave another passion behind. You know, I ended up uh, getting a horse when I was in my teens and ended up with two horses at one time and, and was competing in three-day eventing, which I know gave my mom a heart attack every time she came to a horse show because you're doing crazy things like jumping into water and over banks. It was a lot of fun, and, and I ended up basically having to choose in the end between that and, and, and singing, so I chose singing. With only a few connections and a dream, Marley started knocking on doors. After a few years, one opened, and she was signed to Big Ride Records. I mean, that's what you dream about, is to have the, the Nashville record deal, so very exciting. Since then, she's been working nonstop on her debut album, Beautiful Maybe. I see that boy growing up into the world, reaching for somebody's hand. Twelve tracks with a roller coaster of emotion to match any mood. One of her favorites is the upbeat tune, Trainwreck. Next thing you know, she's all cowardly, ugly, bumpy. Listen close. Those harmonies you hear are courtesy of Vince Gill. Yeah, she's a train. So it's like one of those things that you're going like, I can't believe that this, this legend is, is actually featured on my CD. Marley knows that even with a superstar sidekick and the backing of a label, it's hard to get your music noticed. So she uses another talent. Hey guys, it's Marley Scott here once again for Make It or Bake It. Marley has a cooking blog, just another way to connect with hopes that people will fall in love with more than her recipes. Well, you know, if they're not interested so much in the music, maybe they're interested in me as a person and as a kind of a personality.